Hello students, I am Kashif Ibrahim and in today's A-level computer science lesson, we are going to discuss binary addition, subtraction and BCD codes. In many of the past papers, these three uh, have been combined in one question. So let's see. First of all, uh, let's see the addition of binary numbers, which is very easy. Uh, binary numbers, you know that uh, they are consisting of only two digits, 0 and 1. So there are some rules which we have to consider when uh, we are adding two binary numbers. 0 plus 0, just like in decimal system, will be equal to 0. 1 plus 0 will be equal to 1. But 1 plus 1 will be equal to 1, 0. Mind it. 1 plus 1 will be equal to 1, 0. Similarly, 1 plus 1 plus 1 will be equal to 1, 1. So these two are different. 1 plus 1 will, is equal to 1, 0 and 1 plus 1 plus 1 is equal to 1, 1. So these rules you have to keep in your mind when adding two binary numbers. And using these rules, we are going to see uh, an example that how two binary numbers can be added. It's very simple. For example, uh, you have been given a question and two binary numbers have been given to you. First one is 110010 and second one is 101011. These are six bit uh, binary numbers, mind it, and they are to be added. So it's very simple. As I have told you, 0 plus 1 is equal to 1. 1 plus 1 is equal to 0, 01. So 0 will be written here and 1 will be carried. 1 plus 0 plus 0 is equal to 1, 0 plus 1 is 1, and 1 plus 0 will be 1, and 1 plus 1 will be equal to 1, 0, right? So the answer is 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1. If you like, you can uh, prove it yourself for your own satisfaction. Let's see. This number, you know, equal to 1, 2, 4, 8, 16. 32. 32 plus 16, it is equal to 48. 48 plus 2 is equal to 50. So in decimal system, this number equal to 50. And this one is 1, 2, 2, 42, and this is 43. So this is equal to 43. So when we add these two decimal numbers, this will be equal to 3, and 5 plus 4, this is 93. So the result of these two numbers when converted into decimal system is equal to 93 of decimal number. So this should also be equal to 93. Let's see the result. This is 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 30, 80 plus 8, 88, 88 plus 4, 92, and this is 93. So this number is equal to 93. This is proved right but you have to consider one thing you have to consider the number of bits available for result for example if you are asked that you have only six bits available for storage for the uh, uh, result storage then in that case uh, this result will produce an error mind it because this result requires one two three four five six seven bits so this extra bit is not available uh, for storage that's why there will be an overflow error. So you have to keep this thing in your mind. If the bits have already been given, then you have to consider this thing that whether the result is accommodatable or not. If it is not accommodatable and it is larger than the available number of bits, then in that case, this will produce an overflow error. So let's see the binary subtraction. In that case, uh, there are two methods we can use. One is direct method and second one is the method of two's complement. 
first we see the direct method in direct method what we need to consider whether the number is smaller or greater if the larger number is to be subtracted from 0 1 is to be subtracted from 0 then we have to borrow from the neighbor so when we take value from the neighbor which is 1 this will become 2 actually right and from 2 when 1 is subtracted that is 1 actually this is not 2 in binary system this is 1 0 right and this 1 0 is equal to 2 so for our own convenience we are writing here 2 otherwise this is 1 0 but when we have taken 1 from here it has become 0 right so again we have the same problem here from 0 we cannot subtract 1 that is why from neighbors we have to borrow so in this case we have two zeros in the neighbors so that's that is why we have to borrow from here this becomes 2 and here we have 0 it has become 0 but again we have to take 1 from here for this number this will become 1 and here we have 2 right and again when we take 1 from here this will become 2 and this is 1 so what we have here from 2 when 1 is subtracted that is equal to 1 and from 1 when 0 is subtracted that is equal to 1 when 1 from 1 when 1 is subtracted that is 0 and from 0 when 0 is subtracted that is 0 and at last we have 1 from 1 when when we subtract 1 that is equal to 0 so the answer is 1 1 1 right and remaining are 0 if you want to prove you can prove it yourself for example you convert it into decimal system so what is this number actually this is 32 plus 16 48 48 and this is 50 from 50 what we are subtracting 1 2 4 8 16 32 32 and this is 40 and 43 so 43 is to be subtracted so this will give us 7 remaining right so this should be equal to 7 and you know that 1 2 4 4 plus 2 plus 1 this is equal to 7 so this proves that we have uh, calculated the correct result so you have to practice a lot you need to practice when you are using the direct method but in examination most of the time you are asked to use two's complement method so let's see that method second method which can be used to subtract uh, binary numbers that is two's complement method and most of the time in your examination you are asked to use this method first of all you have to consider this thing that how many bits have been given in previous uh, method which we were using uh, we had six bits available one one zero zero one zero uh, from this number one zero one zero one one is to be subtracted these are six bits uh, numbers but the same number is there but the number of bits have been changed now seven bits are to be used but the number is same one one zero zero one zero uh, when written in seven bits this will become zero one one zero zero one zero and one zero one zero one one will become zero one zero one zero one one and from this result from direct method we know that the answer is one 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 but because the answer is to be written in seven bits that's why it will be written as zero 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 one 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 this is the calculation of direct method we have used but now we have to use two's complement method for two's complement method we know that seven bits are to be used we have to find out the one's complement of the number which is to be subtracted right so the number which is to be subtracted that is zero one zero one zero one one to get the one's complement every digit will be inverted so one will become zero and zero will become one 
so we get 1010100 this number is 0101011 this will become 1010100 i did nothing except inverting the bits zero had become one and one had become zero so this is one's complement for step number 2 in first step we are considering the number of bits so we have put extra bit if required for example if the number is given 101011 and you are asked to find two's complement method by using uh, seven bits so you have to put here extra zero this this is very important right so what we have done we have found out uh, one's complement after this we have to find the two's complement this is very easy in this number we have added only one right in one's complement we have added one we get 1010101 so this is two's complement right so the number this number has been converted into two's complement right okay now what we need to do we need to add this number with the two's complement number so what we get here 0110010 this is the number plus 1010101 which is the two's complement we have got so when we add both of them we should get this number right so let's see first number is 0110010 right the two's complement we have got that is 101010101 Zero one, right? Now we have to add them, and you should remember that we have only seven bits available to keep the answer. So first two digits are added. Zero plus one will be one. One plus zero, this will be one. Zero plus one, this will give us one. After this, zero plus zero, it will give us. Zero one plus one it will give us zero and one will be carried, right? One plus one again it will give me zero and one will be carried, right? So one plus zero plus one again this is one zero, okay? But mind it because we have only seven bits available. these seven bits will be considered only and this is the extra bit which will be discarded okay so when we consider only these seven bits the answer is you know this is same which is seven right after this the next topic is bcd binary coded decimal this is one of the coding scheme which uh, which is still used so you have to remember this thing that for bcd binary coded decimal four bits are used right and where it is used most of the time you will see it in seven segment digital display right in calculators in uh, digital screens it is used and uh, very common use is in calculators which you have uh, which you use it and it is also used in accounting when uh, the values are stored so every single digit is con is uh, converted into into four bits instead of converting the whole value into binary single digit is converted right so these are the two uses and you have to keep this thing in mind that these are the four bit uh, coding uh, for this is four bit coding scheme now for example if you have been given a number 1 2 3 right so uh, what we do we start dividing it by 2 and by using the remainder we get binary number but in case of b c d what we will do one will be converted separately using four bit 
2 will be converted separately using 4 bit similarly 3 and then 4 so these four digits 1 2 3 4 have been converted into separate 4 bit bcd codes right so these four different digits can be kept in uh, two bytes right like this you know that this is one and this is two this is three and this is four so these four digits of decimal have been kept in two bytes or it depends that how it is decided to keep these numbers they can be kept in separate bytes also so rest of the half nibble this half nibble obviously will be will be zero this is half nibble this is this is a nibble sorry this is nibble this is nibble so half byte or nibble will remain zero okay so this is one this is two this is three and this is four so four numbers have been kept in four separate bytes.